fish on. There we go, guys. Money. What a pretty fish. Hot little fish. You gonna jump again? <clears throat> we can get him to jump again. <laughs> Right there. Yeah, yeah beauty. We're out here on the South Umpqua today. Just caught this nice, typical South Umpqua winter steelhead. We're about to get her back in the water for a quick release so she swims off and creates some more babies. We're on the South Umpqua today. Um, side drifting for winter steelhead. I like to run my side drifting rods. They're nice nine and a half foot rods. Got a 10 pound main line. Run the main line to a snap swivel. We've got stick weights that we're running today. South Umpqua is a super snaggy, bouldery river. Um, even slinkies tend to get snagged a lot. All this is, a piece of 1 8 inch hollow core lead on a spinner shaft. Um, the length is what helps keep it just sliding right over the rocks, doesn't dip down into the crevices, and it's a lot more snag free. Tie that. I got a six pound leader here. Tie that right onto my swivel. It's about two and a half, three feet long. Run it straight to a yarn ball with a size two hook. From there, I've got these tied up with a bait loop so that we can add our eggs. We're using two different kinds of egg cures today. We got some orange fire cure and some red borax of fire. Um, with both of these, what I do the night before, I take them out, set them out on some paper towels, air dry them for two to three hours, depending on how wet they were coming out. Um, sprinkle some borax, uh, natural borax of fire right on top of them. I also sprinkle some of the fire power. It's just powdered krill. Um, our southern Oregon fish really seem to love that krill scent, so I like to add quite a bit more to it. You add a layer, roll them around, then you set them in your Tupperware container on a layer of uh, paper towel, stick them in the fridge, and they're ready to fish the next night. All you do, take your bait, put it in the bait loop, cinch it tight, I then add a puff ball. It gives a little bit of flotation, helps keep it off the bottom. That way your bait's not constantly getting hung up. Slide that right onto the hook. Behind that, I've got these bait buttons. All it is is a little plastic rubber stop. Helps keep that puff ball up on top of the hook so it doesn't slide down onto your point. And then there's your setup. <laughs> 